In our last video, we saw how to use save and load function in one click. In this video, we'll see what all the order types are there and how it works. Let's get into it. In one click, we have four different order types. One is a limit order, one more is a limit at LTP, one more is market order and one more is market protection order. Now we'll see one by one. So for checking the order types, you have to log into your one click and here you have one function called order types. So if you click order types, by default it will be in market order. So market order is a simple market order. Once you place buy button, it will automatically place on a market order itself and if you click sell button it will place a market order irrespective of wherever the market is or with the whatever the LTP is it will take the nearest open orders and place a market order okay that is market order next is a market protection order if you click market protection order the next column will be open so if you select market order this column will not work at all and it will be in gray and if you select market protection it will start opening and it will have an percentage option so here you can select the market protection percent for example if you select 10 percent from the LTP it will add 10 percent and place a limit order so it will act as a market only but as a market protection we have a detailed video on market protection orders you can watch that video the link would be given in a description okay so now I have selected market protection as 10 percent I'll click buy button from 189 it will add 10% and it will place a limit order. So 189 plus 10, it has 10% it has added and placed a limit order for 208 and it has executed at 189. Okay, so this is how it works. So why the market protection would be useful is for free trades. Now, when you are keeping it on market order and if you are placing an order, by the time when you place order, if any free trade comes, from 188 it may trigger at 300 or 400 whichever the free trade is when you are on market protection order whatever percentage you select and place the order it will not buy anything more than 203 either it will buy less than dot or the order will be pending open okay that is a market protection useful for so the next option is limited ltp this we will come after limit order first we'll see what is limit order so we'll select limit order once you select limit order you can click buy button once you click buy button new order window will be opened so here you have to select either it is margin or intraday limit market market protection sll and slm for example you can select limit and i will select as 170 and i'll click place order so the order would be placed for 170 and it got triggered we will exit that for exit also it will open a one more pop-up window here you have to select i want to exit at 180 for example and i will place so it will place a limit order and it will be in pending here you have an action button pencil kind of thing if you click that you can edit the pending order as well okay so i'll click buy button i will add 150 as a limit and i will place it so you can see the order is pending and you can edit that later also now we have one more order type that is market order if you select market order and update it it will place automatically on a market and it will execute it okay so we'll exit this order i'll exit in market again and i will place okay so order is executed now when i am buying i have one more option that is market protection this is same market protection which we have told earlier and next option is sll this is an important feature guys imagine the ltp is 183 and i wanted to buy only the ltp goes above 195 so i will trigger i will have a trigger price as 195 once the 195 is reached and it will trigger my 197 so i will have always two points because market would be moving higher 
lower so i will place the order now you can go to order book the order is pending the trigger is not yet triggered 195 so it is pending now i will update that i am updating is to just show i will have trigger price as 190 183 i have updated we will wait if it is going and uh, hitting our 182 trigger it will automatically place 183 limit order we will update this again 165 165 it made it yeah 165 is it and it has placed a limit order for 168 you can see here so this is how the limit order works guys okay so when you wanted to place a limit order which is higher than the current ltp price you have to use sll okay here you have to give which price it has to buy and what is the trigger price okay and slm is you have to give only the trigger price and automatically it will act as a market order once it triggers okay now the next option is limit at ltp so if you place limit at ltp in limit order there is one issue is once you click it will open a pop-up there you have to type the what price you have to buy but limit at ltp if you click buy button it will automatically place the order limit order for whatever ltp is running you can see here i am placing a limit order so it is going into pending mode also but i am placing a limit order based on ltp so i can buy quicker but i will be buying in a limit order okay so that is the use of buy at ltp so this order type you can select whichever order type you wanted by default in your favorite selection for that you have to go to your favorite selection here you will have mini option there you have order type you can select whichever order type you wanted for example market protection and 10 percent and save it so now every time when i open one click by default it will be on market protection i will refresh now you can see market protection and 10 percent so whichever order type you wanted you can add it in your favorite selection and same order type would be reflecting every time when you open so in this video we saw how to use a order type in one click in our next video we'll see predefined target and sl thank you for watching stay tuned for more updated videos in our channel keep learning and earning